My name is Mark Simpson. I'm from uh, Guide Rock, Nebraska. It's about 640 miles north of here. And uh, this is our fourth year here. My son Dylan and I are running my, what I call a Saruka machine. Uh -huh. The uh, second version. The first one was a pedal version. We brought here last year that was pretty efficient. But what did you find with the pedal machine? The pedal machine, we got, uh, we took seven diamonds out last year. Great. And that was the, uh, well, there was five that we took that we, uh, that we got last year. And then uh, two of them that we found after we got home, uh -huh. back to register this right. year, which was an 18 point and a four point. Our biggest system so far is a 20 point. Great. And our smallest is a one point. And the uh -huh. one point was really nice. Well, you don't want to lose any of them. Don't don't miss no, even the one pointers. So when you say last year, um, how long were you here last year to find those seven dollars? We, we actually uh, we come for about five to seven days. We come one one week. Wow. Last week in February or first week in March. Okay. Um, for the past. Uh, Wow. Must be in the fourth year. Yeah. And, uh, so we're here for about a week. Um, we were only here for about five days when we'd have found most of those diamonds, and they were in the East Drain. We were down there with yeah. spoons. Right. Oh, yeah. And uh, we ran through a trauma that I have, which actually sits on this tub as well. And uh, it has pumps on it, um, a barrel pump. So when oh. I crank it, it pumps water right out of the. Out okay, of now to sprayer. explain, it's not motor driven or no, battery no, no, driven. No, it's and powered. And powered. Yep, Armstrong. But that's what Dylan's for. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, it's just all crank and it turns the drum and the pumps and pumps the water. Okay. Is this stainless steel or aluminum or what do you got? It's, it's aluminum. Aluminum. It's well, that's well. lighter. I had to I had to teach myself on YouTube and uh, <laughs> and Google videos and stuff about how to take well aluminum. Cool. We well, it out. you did a professional looking job. It looks yeah. great. Yeah, nothing's broke yet, so I yeah. guess. And aluminum's lighter and looks like you've got legs for leveling it. Is it important yep. to have it level? Oh yeah, yeah. You got to have it level. Not really so much for the trauma, but for the for this the surface stuff. Absolutely. Yeah, I level. see your water is level, and that that's yep. what you could use to yeah, figure your level. This is a deal we made. It's only about four inches deep there. Okay. And it's got these fingers that stick down in there. Okay. It's kind of based on the the wash plant that's out in front of the the African visitor style center. rotary wash yep. pan. Yeah. And as we sit here and turn this, you know, then uh, he feeds it in on that side, and we got it set. It, it actually dumps in there and it, it goes out in the middle. There's a tube in the middle with bearings mm -hmm. in it. And as this material works its way in, because the outside is higher than the inside, it will work its way to the inside, which if we had clear water and nice washed clean gravel, <laughs> yes. you'd be able to see it a little yeah. bit better. Uh, that's all right, I can yeah. see the action. So yeah, those are not solid paddles, those are like rakes or forks. Yeah, they're, uh, they're like a little, uh, little come out of here. Oh, I see them. You got tines sticking yep. down. Yep. Cool. And those things kind of stir it up. Neat. As that goes through the the material, and then it lets it mm -hmm. uh, fall. Let the, the heavies fall down through it. Right. If we can tip this up a little bit, still, you will see that. See, so yeah, it just falls down through the center. Oh yeah, I see. The center's lower, so as that stuff works, and then you know the heavies will be, be down in the bottom of this. At the okay. End. It's just a solid end. It's about that deep, four mm -hmm. inches or so. So it works on the principle that the lamperite is less dense or lighter and the diamonds and other heavy minerals are, yes. are, are, are denser and so you're working on density. So where does your light material go? The light material is what floats across the top of here okay. and goes down through these holes into the bottom of this tub. I see. And then we got to scoop it out every once in a while uh -huh. and the heavier stuff stays in, you know, because that center deal is about two <clears throat> inches up. Right. And the outside is four inches. So yes. The material comes in out here, those fingers keep it all loosened up uh -huh. unless the diamonds go to the bottom. And then Excellent. the light stuff works its way across the top and goes down in the center. Okay. And all right. The, well, this is our first year with it. We got uh, a little bit done with it yesterday because I, I took the trommel out already because this is our last day here. But yeah. We, uh, we're working so this the trommel today. sits on top of this? Yeah. Well, yeah. This thing comes right off of here. Okay. Oh, thing. I see. See the whole thing yeah, just comes yeah. out. And now, uh, for people who aren't familiar, a trommel is a rotary drum? It's a drum, and a lot of people just have single ones where they just put it in there and they tumble it and it washes all the silt and stuff off and silt falls down in the, uh, in the bottom of their tub. Mine is a dual drum. I have a quarter inch screen on the inside drum oh, cool. and a 16 mesh on the outside. Uh -huh. So it has two discharges on it and it pumps it. And it, and it, the, it sorts it according to water, size. The water, yes, all the water and silt goes out the bottom back into the tub to be recycled. Mm -hmm. And one chute dumps everything larger than a quarter of an inch, mm -hmm. which we just look at on the table, right. dry it out and sure. toss it. The other one is everything between a sixteenth inch and 
uh, a quarter inch, and then that's basically what we uh, run through the Saruka mm -hmm. and or this machine right here, and then we finish this off with the Saruka by hand. But it's uh, fantastic. Yeah, that, that I, I think it's, it's a challenge to build something like that, and that's, that's kind of where I'm at. I just right. like building things that are yeah. So I don't so, have to do it myself. I'll build something to do it for me. Right. I get to power it, but you know, yes, it's, it's just interesting yes. to. And, and when you things. talked about the trommel and pump. Now, it's still not a battery pump or a motorized nope, pump. It's, it's like, a barrel pump like you would use to, uh, yes. to pump oil out of a barrel for okay. your car. Okay, so you crank the... They're actually DEF pumps. They're for DEF fluid for diesels. Okay, and, yes. Uh, right. Yeah, they're hand cranked, but I put a hub on them with a sprocket, and they're mounted on the side, and then the, the shaft, got a shaft where I turn mm -hmm. the, the... It's got a, a pulley that takes a belt around the, the drum of the, of the trauma, right. and then a sprocket that runs out to a shaft that has two pumps on it. Right. We only had one pump on it last year when we brought it here, but I put another one on it for, for more this water. year, and we needed a little more water yeah. flow, just yeah. an adjustment, you know. Great. Well, I'm sorry I didn't get you filmed yesterday so we could see the trommel as well, but yeah, we'll go ahead and work this Saruka some, and I might ask you some more questions yeah. about it. So, um, <clears throat> what has your volume been like? Uh, um, how we haven't really got a whole lot run with this one yet. The, the, the trommel works pretty good. We had a little bit of an issue this year. We had to uh, get a filter system to put on the pumps because there was so much silt that it was going into the pumps. Right. Which made it a really hard to turn. Yeah. And it was eating the pumps up pretty good. So right. Then, then uh, well, there's bugs to work out of uh, any process yeah, yeah, exactly. and any new and equipment. And the thing is, I can't yeah. duplicate this kind of material at home to work with. And we live right. 640 miles away, so. Yes. I don't so, so you couldn't test it at home before you came. Exactly. I could test it, but. It's, it's not very accurate. Right, it's field the silt testing. here is unreal. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you got to get rid like, of it. You know, and at various, we were at the the East Drain um, last year. We didn't have to have any filters on it at all. Yeah. And then this year, we're over Different. here at the West Drain, and definitely got to have filters. Mm -hmm. because it's, and, uh, and so you're digging here in the West Drain? Yep, yeah, we dug some in the West Drain, some right hey. over here, right behind us. Mm -hmm. And you bring it up right here and, and wash it. Yep. At least it's not too far to carry. Yeah, exactly. That's the whole uh, whole reason of building this, is just running the hose and filling the, mm -hmm. the, the tank there and not having to carry the buckets. I mean, the first two years we were here, we were carrying buckets a long ways up right. from the wash pavilions to do it. And these, the trommel and this is wide enough. This is built off of specs from the, the wash tubs. Mm -hmm. So I could put this in the wash tub at the, oh, at the deal it, and say with the In the troughs under, under the wash pavilion. Yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it'll fit Neat. right in there. Neat. I've never have done it um, at, the, at the pavilions because well, I just figured that uh, it's crowded up there and yeah, and limited space and limited space, and I don't want to take up a bunch of space. Yeah, yeah. Well, you got your own unlimited elbow room out here. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. there's you know a lot of people that uh, want to want to stop and and uh, ask how it's working and stuff. Yes. And, and yeah, like one out here in the field, you get one or two here and there. Mm -hmm. Up at the wash building, it's nonstop all day. Absolutely. So it's like, then I wouldn't get anything done. That is a big difference, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's uh Yeah, well, I can see it, uh, the action and uh, how it's working and... Uh, yeah, and it's, it's, it's a like slow it. action. He sticks his arm under it once in a while and he can feel to see how fast it's pouring out the yeah. tailings, pouring out the bottom. Yeah. And um, then when, like, when you do have to dump it, how do you dump it? We got a, a big gate right there, slide this over. See, and we have an arm that right down here. We can pull this. Okay. Oh, all right. Yeah. And that helps. With I the, see. And then we're shoveling the, the silt at the same time, yeah. you know, to get the silt out Fantastic. of the Fantastic. Good deal. All as far right. As like the the trommel, it depends on how concentrated the, your gravel is in the in the buckets. But uh, that's rock in there. But uh, the Saruka machine last year, we were running a five gallon bucket through it in about three minutes. Incredible. And, uh, it was it was pretty fast. Just about as fast as we just just pedaling, you know, you can control the speed. Yes. And it has adjustments on it so you can control the pulse rate by how fast you pedal. Mm -hmm. And it's uh which there's a video out there of yes. it last year somebody posted. I it. saw it. It's a very short one, but it doesn't really show the mechanics of it. But mm -hmm. I got a lot of different materials in there. It pulse pushes the water up and right. bounces it. It's kind of based off of a one I I seen like on the a internet. Plates a Savannah uh, mining mineral jig or something like yes. that. They said it was yes. something like that. Right. And it uh, it pulsed like that. And uh, I don't know where I was going with that. It's uh, it's it's hard to turn, hard to crank, you know. But it's uh, right. it was really efficient. We tested the tailings, and there was absolutely no 
no heavies in there. there was, Excellent. It was just Jasper right. right in the center, and right. then everything else was in the. Right. In you the you want to trap run. all your heavies and get rid of all the exactly. light material. And yep, and that's why we. we it's all about concentrating. So, are you uh, taking some concentrates home to look through? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh huh. And in fact, we're probably just going to take some washed gravel home too, even though we've yes. we, we'd run it through to take the concentrates right. out. So that yes. uh, we definitely want to do some more experimenting at home. Oh yeah, excellent. This is the second test on that, and like I said, we found a little bit of uh, centers mm -hmm. a little in the in the uh, in the center of this yeah. yesterday. Yeah. So. It's not 100% efficient, the, uh, like the pedal bike was. But. Well, even the best uh, process is not 100%, but yep. uh, you can get, get close get anyway. Close, yeah. Well, that's... I know this is your last day, and you got work to do and uh, goals to accomplish, so I'll let you go, but I thank you very right. much for your time, and I yep. appreciate your invention and all the work that went into it, and uh, looks real efficient. I, I hope to read the news about the diamonds you find. <laughs> have you found any yet this week? We haven't found any this week yet okay. because we've spent a lot of time building the filter right. system for yes. the trommel and then and then doing some adjusting on that and then on this. So we do have a little bit to take home, but unfortunately I'm not going to have anything to uh, to uh, to turn in today unless yeah. we happen to find something today. But right. if we do find something out of this material, it'll probably be you know after we get home. So I'll have to post it on the site, but we won't right. be able to register it until we yeah, get back yeah. here. Right. Well, but, I... Uh, I find most of my diamonds at home in the gravel that I wash here and then take home and you can look through it on a rainy day and when you're here you need to process as much as you can. Exactly, so. exactly. Get as much as you can done here and then mm -hmm. take the centers home with you. Just, you take one, one, uh, one five gallon bucket full of washed gravel home a day but if you do 30 gallons or 30 buckets of, of washed gravel and then Saruka them down and just take the heavies out of the center that's your one bucket. Yes. You'd much rather take that much home than <laughs> absolutely <laughs> rather sure. than taking one bucket of washed gravel I'd rather take one bucket of, of center to wash the gravel. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, much better chance. Yep. Especially when you have a long way to haul it because you're all the way over here at the West Drain. So. Yeah, exactly. Well, thank yep. you very much for you your bet. time and for showing us your invention and how it works. It gives other people some ideas. So. You bet. Thank Thanks you. a lot.